when my control pulse is uh, is high, I can I can feel it, and when uh, when it goes down, it uh, I can also I can I can do the exercises and and get it uh, get it uh, high again because I have this uh, this great tool. I know I know how to do the exercises and to get myself up and get my energy up. It's a little easier when you're talking than uh, when you're on the spot. Sure. Okay, so uh, shortly after I started uh, a job in the IT industry, I was a programmer and uh, that led to many hours of uh, sitting on the computer with uh, my back uh, slouched and, and uh, with pressure on the chest. And uh, that led to a lot of uh, problems with my back and, and eventually uh, because of the exercise I was lacking, I started having this uh, the sensations of uh, of heart palpitations. So my my initial response to that was, and also my mother suggested that I should uh, exercise more. Uh, I I decided to try to alleviate all these symptoms that they have by joining the gym and uh, to try. I mean, I was. Uh, I was start, starting to go regularly every day, about an hour, maybe more. And uh, the result of those exercises was that I was, I mean, every time the, the exercise got intense, I started having the palpitations, which uh, got me uh, really worried about it. And uh, I think that's when I start getting uh, a little anxious. So that's uh, that scared me, scared me pretty, pretty much. And my heart was racing like for two or three days. So when I went to, to check up with the doctor, uh, she pretty much told me that uh, she was uh, kind of uh, aggravated, if I can say it, me because. Uh, like he was uh, 20 something years old uh, saying that I was having uh, mental issues or, or uh, issues with my with my heart so I guess at, at the end of that checkup I didn't really get anything she just told me to to relax that I was young that uh, everything like uh, it's all in my head pretty much trying to relax and uh, which was getting me more anxious and I guess that was the, the vicious cycle and after I realized that just the exercise didn't help much I started to look into other other options that I could uh, that I could uh, find so I would uh, recommend this method to everyone uh, I mean, not, not just this method, I would recommend that uh, they investigate this to, to I, would, I would recommend that they pay, pay attention to their breathing because it's, uh, it's, it's logical that uh, if, if everything else can go wrong in the human body, it's logical that also breathing uh, can go wrong. And if you think about it, uh, we we can't go without breathing uh, even a minute. And uh, everyone is talking about changing the diet, eating something healthy. And no one, no one is talking about, uh, about breathing. Like, uh, like what, we, we don't need any to pay attention to the, the, the breathing, to the air that we, we're, we're taking in. So yeah, I would. Uh, I'm not sure if I can convince anyone, but 
I would mention it to them. So in my country, there there are no local potato practitioners. So signing up for this course online was the only and the logical choice. I mostly found out about it uh, by researching online. So I didn't uh, know anyone that that could introduce me to the method. I I was I stumbled upon a an article about uh, about breathing and then uh, that when you sit a lot like I do, you have bad posture. That that can uh, somehow compress the the organs and it can mess up the breathing after some time. So after that, I guess I found uh, some other articles and uh, one one of them mentioned that uh, there was a particular symptom for for hyperventilation uh, that uh, you have this uh, feeling of uh, tenderness in the chest area, in the chest wall, and I was feeling that like constantly. And uh, that was a really specific, uh, really specific symptom, and so I thought that might be something, something there. And I think it was somewhere on, on the Reddit, if you know the social network. Someone mentioned something about uh, some potato method. And that's, that's uh, really how I found, uh, found out about it. And it, it wasn't um, uh, not immediately uh, that I started to, to practice it. I first tried some just relaxing uh, breathing exercises and and then somehow slowly found some uh, some brochure online that showed some uh, botanical practices. So that was really my do-it-yourself uh, start of the take of it. And uh, I guess after a while I decided not to, not to waste any time and just uh, research for a few clinics that were teaching the Buteco method. And this uh, uh, Learn Buteco Online somehow had, uh, I mean, the, the teachers were somehow, yeah, there, there were more of them and it seemed like they they were longer involved involved in this uh, practice so I decided to sign up there and the prices were were fair. I found uh, one uh, cool little brochure about uh, the Boteco method and the practices for for like four weeks uh, with uh, exactly the, the exercises that I should do and I just uh, follow that and also I watched all the, the videos that you guys have on the learn to take off so I found uh, I found a lot of details in there and also I guess I went while I was on, on there on YouTube I watched all the other videos of other Boteco practitioners so yeah I, I I guess I had an understanding of it and I thought that I can uh, do it myself. The practices that, that, that I was doing uh, by myself, uh, the, the first symptom that disappeared was the, the tightness in the chest, but uh, the, the air hunger that was, that was constantly present uh, uh, did not go away easily. Then when I joined the online workshop, I think after the, the, third, uh, the, the third practice, it, uh, it went away. And after that, I don't think I, I had it nowhere near that severe, severe like it was before. To give a small summary of all the symptoms that you had before you started the method and led you to become concerned about your health. So my, uh, the biggest of my symptoms were the heart palpitations, the, air, the severe air hunger, 
also I had some uh, dizziness, uh, pain in the in the neck, pain in the head. I also had this uh, sensation of uh, tightness in the chest. Also, uh, there was at times I also felt, felt uh, there was a pain in the same area, like but in the in the back. Yeah, that's uh, also one of the symptoms uh, that uh, that I had was uh, like my nose was constantly uh, like I had something there that was uh, stopping it, it was congested or something. But uh, again, like the heart palpitations, that that was one of the symptoms that uh, scared me the most. Also, uh, there was uh, there there were situations when uh, this this uh, all all of my symptoms kind of uh, uh, progressed and uh, caused me to to have these uh, panic attacks, and then I I had to rush to the emergency. I think it was uh, three or, three or four times that I had to go. So my heart was pounding really, really fast, and uh, that that scared me a lot. It was it was keeping. So uh, when I when I started the this uh, the course, my control pause was uh, at around uh, fifteen. And I was still having a lot of the, the symptoms. The, the air hunger was present, also I had this, uh, the palpitations. But uh, at around the, the third day and forward, I had, I had some ups and downs. The first day was uh, kind of uh, really tough. Uh, all of my symptoms uh, collided somehow at night and I barely, I felt asleep, but uh, already the next day, I when I when we uh, have gone through the course, I was uh, I was kind of feeling some relief. Like uh, I was mentioning this to to Marcel that I start feeling that this uh, I like I can smell the air, like some. She said it was the, the blood vessels expanding. So the, at around the, the end of the course, uh, I was, I was pretty, feeling pretty, pretty good. My control pulse was about uh, 18 or something. And uh, from then on, the, the first week I kept with the practices and it, uh, my control pause maybe grew about uh, one or two seconds. It, it, uh, it varies a lot, so I can't uh, say for sure what's the average. But I can say that uh, uh, by looking uh, at my symptoms, that they slowly, they slowly decrease and as this is this is right now the I, I think it's the third week since since the the practice. Mm, I think the most uh, of the air hunger is uh, is gone. I can barely feel it. Only maybe when uh, I start uh, to walk uh, a little faster or or after I climb a few stairs a few set of stairs but it's uh, it's still I, I'm still practicing but it's uh, probably a lot, a lot, around 30% better than it was and I'm confident that uh, I'm gonna keep keep going with this until I'm 100% it's, uh, it's the third week since my since I finished the Bateco course and my control pause is in the, the early 20s. 
and uh, my my symptoms are I can I can feel right now that when I'm, I'm when I'm when I'm a little bit down when I feel some headaches I I I know that uh, my control pause has dropped a bit two or three times two or three seconds then I usually do some rescue exercises and it goes up and I start feeling uh, that relaxed uh, cool air in my nostrils like it uh, like they expand and uh, I can somehow sense when I'm uh, when I'm not uh, healthy or something if I can say that I have this uh, tool when my control pose is uh, is high, I can I can feel it, and when uh, when it goes down, it uh, I can also I can I can do the exercises and and get it uh, get it uh, high again because I have this uh, this great tool. I know I know how to do the exercises and to get myself up and get my energy up. 